We picked our first lima beans today. They're kind of tricky to pick. You want them to be, you want the pods to be fat, okay? But you don't want the beans on the inside to be yellow because they're, they're starchy. They're not nearly as good. So we quit. We've got four rows. We quit. Oh, I quit about a fourth of the way into one of the rows. Uh, we're going to wait for a couple more days, maybe till Monday, see if uh, we can get a little bigger picking then. I'm going to take these inside and shell them. This is how many it made. Not bad. They don't really look like there's any that are too overripe. Well, it is time to pick up the ground cherries. You're not really picking them. You're picking them up. So when you pull the plants away, I kind of shake them. And uh, that's what you see now. You just have to be kind of careful not to break off the plants. We don't want them to end up looking like, well, like that poor hibiscus. That's not my fault, though. Okay. What are you doing there, Gray? Our wild little kitty. Yes? Um. Anyway, in case you don't know what these ground cherries look like when you shell them, they're a little bit small this year. I'm kind of disappointed. Oh, this is more work than I remembered it being. I guess that's why I put it off so long. But, um, that sun comes out behind the cloud. It's going to be really hot, and I'm going to quit for the day. And this is what we picked today. Ground cherries, a few beans, a few limas, some blackberries and blueberries, a tree that only had about four peaches on it, and the tomatoes are starting to starting to pile up. The thing I forgot about lima beans is they foam like mad and want to boil over. Even with my nifty, um, ouch, this that works great for pasta, still for lima beans, not so, not perfect. Without a lid, it completely boiled over. Okay, um, I think I've had them in here for five minutes. It's probably doesn't feel like that's quite enough yet. I've got them in some salted water. Um, if I, oh, these are really good. If I were freezing them, I would cook them for maybe four minutes, and I wouldn't salt the water. But we're going to eat these. Oh my goodness, there's nothing like fresh lima beans, but they still taste a little starchy. Not quite buttery enough yet. So let's give them another, maybe another couple minutes. If you've never had fresh lima beans, these things are fantastic, people. Now you want to use lots of water to blanch them for freezing, um, but since I was just cooking these to eat, I did not have to use this much water. Probably should have used a deeper pan, smaller but deeper, not as much water. But hey, they're really, really good. And if you mix these two together, you have succotash. Well, I tried pulling up the garlic and I was mostly successful. I lost a few of them and I'm tempted to just leave them there. Nah, I can't do that. I'll have to try to find them. I've got a shovel here. And these strings, uh, you know, they're not doing any good anymore except for me to trip over them. So I might have to pull those stakes. I have to pull those stakes out. Uh, the other onions, Sam thinks they might still be growing a little bit. I don't know. We're not going to plant scallions next year. They kind of got out of control. But the onions, or the, the garlic now, found a piece of old twine. Yeah, kind of like this twine. I'm going to tie them up and hang them on a nail in our old shed. Let them dry that way. Never grown garlic before, so... Looks decent. I'm going to try to plant some of them this fall then, some of the cloves, and see how that works out. So there's soft neck garlic and, well, whatever you call the non-soft neck. I think that's what these are. And then, of course, uh, some no-neck garlic that broke off. So I'll tie these up, hang these up, and uh, ward off any evil vampires and stuff in the shed, I guess, huh? And there we go. 
I thought there would be some nails in this other part, but the ladder's hanging from them. We have a nice dark place here. I'll probably forget I had them, so remind me. There's our garlic. Close up and real.